what does a credit score mean to you? What what would you say the definition of a credit score means? To me, what well, oh the definition? Yeah. My own interpretation would just be the responsibleness of finances. Mm-hmm. But right, right. But, and so even so the thing is, even if you have let's say a lot of credit cards that doesn't even necessarily mean you're good with your money does it it don't and then it could be a do like i've i've experienced someone uh uh one of my female friends her mom wanted to get credit consultant and she i lit i lie to you not she had 19 credit cards whoa and not one of those credit cards had a mispayment or was over 15 percent um mm -hmm. utilization and i was right. like whoa but right. where she wanted to increase her score even though the credit cards were in good standing no missed payments and things like that she lowered her credit history so Ooh, because she had closed out a credit card no she ain't closed out a credit card but she had 19. so now however many years she have it has to be divided by that 19 and not in counting a uh, mortgage or car loan or any mm -hmm. other type of loan right so like an example i give when i talk about credit history a person could have let's just say 10 years you got 10 years of credit history right now tomorrow for lunch we go to starbucks and starbucks say hey you know we're we're giving half off on this latte if you open up a starbucks credit card with us so you got 10 years of credit history so when you go to apply for that they're gonna say oh man she a rock star she got 780 credit score 10 years of credit history oh yeah this yeah this is who we want right here and you get approved so then when your credit report uh not even from starbucks because a lot of companies like that they, they do soft pulls but right. when your credit reports 30 days after that or 45 days after that your credit history is going to go down your credit history mm -hmm. is going to go to mm -hmm. just generally speaking five years mm -hmm. just the month before you had 10 years worth of credit history on paper but now it's the average five years. because the average is lower five. by you adding it. and see you know what's so funny that you say that yesterday i posted a video because i have i have nine credit cards but i had applied for two credit cards in december back to back so i got two credit cards back to back and um but in december i had also paid off my auto loan and so originally people were saying okay when i pay off my auto loan because i was paying it off early it was gonna make my credit score go down so I was like, okay, y'all, because they said about 45 days. So I said, we're going to start checking my credit score and I'm going to do kind of like a review to see how it's going. Well, in January, when I checked my credit score, my credit score had went down 13 points. Mm -hmm. And so yesterday I did a video and I was talking about when we look at our credit. And I don't even know. It could have been today. I think actually video, the video actually came out today. And so I was saying when our, you know, when we apply for new credit, our credit score, you know, they say it could go down five or 10 points, but really it's for a couple of reasons. And so that's why it's very important for us to understand our credit, you know, the five components of a credit score. And that was one of the things that I said in there, because by me getting two credit cards, that was going to make my credit history. But I didn't, I didn't delve down into it as much as you did but my credit um card history was going to the average age was going to go down a little bit and then uh, so that can impact my credit score right i look at i look at it now now that i have the understanding of credit the way that i do mm -hmm. i look at it differently now i don't even sweat my credit anymore i don't even look at my credit anymore at this right. point i wouldn't be able to tell you my credit score because I can manipulate it just like that, like with the with the snap of the thing, just mm -hmm. and so I don't worry about it because and what a lot of people don't understand is no matter if you have good credit or if you have bad credit, your credit is always fluctuating. It's, it's all it's not going to be just just like that. 
And I tell that's why I tell people don't get in the slump if your credit a little low. <laughs> right, because I, you know, my score had went down. Um, and this is my Experian credit score because you know we have our Experian, our TransUnion, our Equifax. And I usually when I go to my TransUnion, I was able to get some kind of trial to where I was able to unlock all of them. Well, I couldn't do that anymore. So I didn't want to pay to get all the credit scores. So I was just using my Experian, but that wasn't my highest score. My mm -hmm. TransUnion was a 713. And then now it's a 700. And so I'm going to check it probably within the next couple of days to see, because I was like, I hope that it doesn't go under a six, well, under a 700, but we'll have to see. Oh, Jonathan says, Tasha, you haven't paid for the Experian membership? No, I have not paid for the Experian membership. It'll let you pull all of your credit scores in a single, I don't know. You know, Jonathan, <sighs> Because the thing is, I I can pretty much get all of my credit scores except for my Equifax. I'm just like, what is up with Equifax to where it seems like I can always get my experience score and I can always get my TransUnion score, but I can't get my Equifax score. But I don't know. I'm kind of cheap. It's like, y'all, I'm funny. Like, on one hand, I'm kind of cheap. But then on another hand, I'm not because I do not want to pay $25 a month for them to tell me stuff that I can pretty much get for free. <laughs> But you try and get to the 800 though, right? I know, right? <laughs> that is so funny. I know. I need to stop being cheap. It's not a game, sir.